When I was a young man, I met the devil. Scotchos. Welcome to Peppers and Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> Skip forward a few decades and to the present day and what has come across my way. Another devil's coach horse. I, uh, at least I think that's what it is. It is definitely a very large rough beetle. And it's coming straight at me, it seems. Whoa, nice mandibles you got there. Uh, I think it's not uh, really aggressive or defensive. I think it's just uh, trying to get away from the raindrops that started dropping at this moment. Yeah, nice, nice specimen. They have a very peculiar defensive behavior. Let's see if I can anger it enough so that it will show it. Hmm. Not overdo it, but a little bit should be okay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let's see. Get a little thing here and... Ah, starting to do its thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Oh, nice bite. Yeah. But still not the behavior I'm looking for. Not oh, bad. So, lifting the abdomen. Yeah, lifting the abdomen, presenting the mandibles. A beetle with the attitude of a scorpion, basically. <laughs> That's uh, really cool. They have an attitude, definitely. <laughs> Hiding there? It's not working. Better run. And it does. Yeah, as a kid or young man, if you will, I remember being quite obsessed with those guys. I uh, think maybe even before the glowworms and the silkworms came into my life, but maybe at the same time. So maybe uh, in a parallel universe there is uh, a channel called Peppers and Rough Beetles. And maybe I am wearing a beard there and I am totally evil. There is also a lot of them dead as roadkill, sadly, but you know, the road giveth and the road taketh. One day you get to eat tasty roadkill, on other days you are the roadkill. Hmm. I'm pretty sure at least the living specimens I found really are devil's coach horses because of this uh, little whitish edge there on the abdomen and also on this specimen that was sadly stepped on by a horse or a mushroom collector uh, they have wings uh, this very similar species uh, does not have wings underneath oh now that's a different species of rough beetle but a really nice one very colorful, again the peculiar defensive behavior, it almost looks like a little face on the abdomen. Reminds me of a regal jumping spider. And the nice red wing cases. I don't think it has a common name in German, maybe Bunter Kurzflüglerkäfer, really uh, imaginative. But um, yeah, almost makes me want to collect those and try to keep them, but I do not think that they are very suitable to be kept inside. However, I recently found information about a method of keeping a species of rough beetle involving oatmeal as the sole food source, uh, which is weird for a predatory beetle, so maybe I will look into that. But you remain free, my little friend. <laughs>